isolation now and we kind of have been for the last week or two we're trying to be extra careful um probably for the last week to be fair um even when i was child mining we didn't really go very many places um so yeah we were trying to be really careful just to keep everyone safe i am a bit of a home bird so i don't really mind being at home um but it is important that the playroom is um kind of updated with resources that she's liking and interested in um so i'm kind of trying to keep on top of that so i'll show you around what we've got so far and we've had lots of really successful play in here the last couple of days she's really enjoying what's what's out for her so i'll start on this side so up here we've got these very beautiful uh, counting boards which are from the little coach house we've had those for a few months now and um, they're not played with all the time uh, because they don't always want to count um, although they can be used in lots of different ways you know you can use them for stacking and they're, they're quite open-ended as well as being primarily designed for counting if there's anything you want me to link then do let me know um, we've got this um, coin box here uh, with a little key uh, we I started using this a long time ago and then I put it away for a while because if your child's younger than say two they can use this for opening closing and filling they can take this bit out put it in and they can attempt to put the coins in there as well and then as they get older they'll learn the kind of turning of the key and how to put it in and out um, and that kind of thing so you can use this from a really young age as well as kind of two three years old as well at the back we've got our grim's rainbow and then the little peg people these are played with literally all the time and now that she's kind of using her imagination much more she kind of has little names for them and they have little roles to play and I absolutely love watching her kind of imagination um, take hold. And here we've got these um, coloured blocks which are from a company called Ticket. I just recently discovered these um, this company on Amazon yeah and um, they're really great quality and they're beautiful especially on a sunny day you can kind of put them up to the light and the light shines through and they look really beautiful over here we've got some more little loose parts these are from ticket as well um we've got our magnetic tiles there and then we've just got a big basket of blocks over here we've got our animals so i mean i don't tend to change a lot of things around the open-ended stuff i keep out all the time so like this for construction, these, all of these are generally out all the time. And then I like to do a bit of tray work of certain things that they're interested in and, and enjoying. So we've got the um, screwdriver and then the screws here. Um, and then over here, we've got the bees. Uh, they absolutely love bees. And this was actually linked to a, a bee book that we were doing, um, that we were interested in recently. Yes, yeah, so these little bees, it comes with little tongs here and you just kind of scoop them out and there's a colour matching there because the bee is the same colour as the little um, honeycomb thing that it's in. Yes, yeah, so we've got a big basket of animals. We've got lots of recyclables here. Um, this they use for like a telescope <laughs> and, to, and they talk to each other through it. Um, and then we've got uh, bits of cardboard and boxes which they use for like filling, painting on, um, little garages for cars all sorts of stuff so up here uh, we've got like a little small world kind of set up we've got a little wooden plane this is actually a hamster house and then we've got some tiny little animals uh, which they use in here this is played with all the time so if your children are into using their imagination and small world type play where they make up characters and kind of roles and stories and stuff then this kind of thing would be ideal for for them so over here we've just got some loose parts kind of um open-ended resources again uh, we've got a cup holder here with some rings um little tinker tray with lots of different loose parts these are little grab hat pieces these giant buttons came from carla's treasure a really fantastic um local company they make all sorts of montessori resources this beautiful little box came from Egypt. It was given to me by my mum and dad when I was a teenager. And um, when Mia was really young, she found it. And 
she's been obsessed with it ever since. And luckily she's taken really good care of it because my mum's not around anymore. So anything that's kind of like links me to her, um, then I kind of want to keep hold of. But yeah, I've been brave enough to let her play with it and she's taken really good care of it because it's really well made. So yeah, she uses it for filling and when she was younger, she used to open and close it and open and close it. And it was just like her favourite toy. Um, here we've got little peg people. Um, what I did is I painted these and matched them with the cup. So they can use it for matching or just open-ended play. So they're all really different. We've got spotty ones and uh, I think I've got a cute little rainbow one somewhere. There's a rainbow one. That was cute. Here we've got our ways to play road. We've got a little telephone. Um, musical instruments in here and then we've got little cars and train track down there and this is our table we've been doing some play-doh stuff this morning so we've got lots of play-doh tools here and little cutters and little tools there and then over here we've got our um, arts and crafts trolley this isn't really much different to in my previous videos so I won't really bore you with that but it's basically just got lots of paper for cutting and sticking and glue and paints and lots of pencils and crayons and paper and all sorts of that stuff anything she can grab just to start kind of making her creations really so on this side we've got another play shelf um she's really into as i said imaginative play and role play and at the moment she's loving pretending to be a doctor so i just got this little doctor set from um la toy van and it's really really sweet um it took me ages to decide which one to buy because um they all look so good and you never know what they're going to be like till they come and i really wanted it to be a really good quality one and i loved that it was a cute little bag that she could kind of carry around i thought that was really sweet so yeah it comes with all these um wooden bits and they're all really good um quality as well so she's loving playing with that this is a magnetic doll. The reason I put this out was because she's really interested in dressing herself at the moment and she's learning uh, how to dress herself and choosing her kind of outfits and things. Well, I'm giving her limited choices anyway. So this is really cool because you can choose different outfits to put on the doll. Um, so yeah, she really enjoys that. And they're all magnetic. Is that your doctor's set? You being doctor? Um, so then over here is another toy by Ticket. I'm a little bit obsessed with Ticket at the moment. This is a fruits and vegetable matching activity, but you match the inside with the outside. So it shows what it looks like cut up and then it shows what the whole version looks like. So they kind of learn the ins and outs of vegetables. And then over here we've got some paper and card for cutting because she's really enjoying practicing using scissors at the moment and we've got some colored blocks and lots more little grappat pieces um and then up here we've got i've had this for a really long while and you probably have seen it in my previous video she used to use this um as a sequence type of activity so She'd go along with the story and put them in order of, of how the caterpillar ate the food. But I've just come up with a new kind of way to make it more interesting. And I've got this, these laces here. And then I'm going to drill a hole in the middle. So then she can lace them in the order that they're eaten. Um, we've got our little peg birds here, which are from a company called Rock Paper Pegs. You'll find them on Instagram. Um, they're really good quality and they're all pan painted by hand. Um, this is our letter kind of activity because we're just introducing her to letters at the moment really casually nothing kind of structured here it's just a box with all different um items beginning with m so mirror mushroom this has actually been here for about a month so i need to kind of change it i think i'm going to go for an a next and then up here we've got our alphabet puzzle our dinosaurs and our weatherboard, which was handmade by me, and I'm super proud of it. And then up here, we just got a little bit of art. So over here was where I had this bookshelf. So I found it really annoying, actually. It was supposed to be an overflow bookshelf where I put all the books that we're not really reading at the moment, and then I can rotate them. But 
Um, it was just too interesting for the children, especially Mia. She'd always be pointing to books that she wanted me to read. And I could never get the one. I'd be like, she'd be pointing. I'd be like, is it this one? She'd, no. Is this one? No. This one? No. This one? No. I'm like, describe it to me. And she's like, that one. So it was really hard to, <laughs> to find which one she was talking about. So naturally, because it's out of the way and um, out of reach, it became more interesting. I decided to bring it down so it's more accessible for them so they can choose what they want to read um, and it kind of helps with their independence. They don't need to keep asking me to get books for them. Um, I'm not being lazy, promise. <laughs> and then here I need to decide what I'm going to do here. I think I'm going to put some shelves up, but I'm not really sure yet. So it's just a bit of an open space. And I made this yesterday actually. Because I wanted a new way to display the art. Um, we used to put it on this board over here. Um, but it all got a bit messy and all the art would be piled on top of other pieces of art. And it just didn't look very good. So I made this with just a piece of wood. And then I put some twine on there. And then I kind of um, wrote on that and stuck on these little hearts. And I think it looks really cool. So I just need to find something to kind of do here. Any ideas? And do let me know. <laughs> So that's our playroom at the moment whilst we're in isolation. We've actually been isolating for a few weeks now, um, just trying to keep safe and trying to keep special the vulnerable people safe. So um, yeah, I've been trying to keep on top of the playroom as much as I can just to make sure that she is happy and engaged um, because I'm not child-minding at the moment. I had to stop my child-minding with schools on Friday. Um, she's missing her little playmate a little bit. so trying to keep her happy and engaged. Um, so first the apologies, I haven't had a shower yet, I'm still in my wonderful sexy dressing gown right here and haven't, haven't managed to sort my face out but it's just a very quick video I thought I'd do while I had a chance. Um, I don't care really know yet, don't judge me. But um, yeah, so this is our playroom at the moment, hopefully it gives you some ideas. Uh, hopefully your children are keeping engaged and happy because I know toddlers are go 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 all the time and they also can get bored really quickly so um yes uh i think amazon are still delivering as well so if you need any resources then hopefully you'll still be okay to get a few things so yeah keep safe everyone thanks for watching again if you want me to link anything below do let me know or i can send a message directly to you with anything we have here and yeah i'll be posting my activity video tomorrow on isolation activities for toddlers part two and that is going to be on, um, what was it again? Oh, sensory activities, okay. So yeah, I'll post that tomorrow for you. So do enjoy and have a good day, bye.